Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion. I don't know why Lauren's so against the First Amendment. I think the First Amendment's pretty great. I also think the Second Amendment's pretty great, too, because it protects the first. (laughs) And these are the things that we should actually be conserving, and we can't do that if we can't win elections. The fact of the matter is, Lauren, that every single problem you have with the LGBT movement right now, from, from giving hormones to kids, medical transition, whatever, this was all caused by the right losing the culture war 30 years ago when they tried to legislate their religion. That is why we're currently experiencing this today. The only way to come back and conserve whatever it is you want to conserve is by winning elections. And the fact of the matter is, it's not just people like Blair who vote based on LGBT issues. I am straight as an arrow. I'm married to a dude. Between the two of us, I'm the one that's actually married with the family. And so I will say that I absolutely will not vote for a party that treats LGBT people like they are subhuman. I won't do it. Part of the reason that Trump... Won- Aren't you pretty good friends with uh, Brian? Is it Brian Straka? Uh, Brandon, yeah. Brandon Straka, that's it, from the yes. Walk Away movement. He's, he's, I am. He's LGBT, right? He is very LGBT, Okay, yes. I thought so. I didn't want to, like... <laughs> I was hoping I wasn't making news here. No, yes. no, you're certainly yeah. not. But he's he's like hardcore Republican now, correct? Um, I yeah, I mean, I think so. he's definitely a Republican. I wouldn't call him. He's a Trump Republican. Mm-hmm. Okay, he's so he's one. Trump, he's yeah. like one of the Trump coalition. He's not really like he wouldn't call himself a conservative then. Um, I think he would call himself a conservative, but not not Lauren's type of conservative. I think that right. he's really on board with Trump and he's on board with freedom and individual liberties and hating the left. But you know what? It's it's funny because, um, you know, uh, so the walkaway people, we all spent election night together in Florida. We rented this big house and we actually had a conversation about is walk away about walking away just from the Democratic Party or is it about walking away from religious ex- or like uh, extreme? on both sides not necessarily religious so yeah this is something that they're thinking about yeah yeah i I, it just it doesn't seem like a good electoral strategy at all i'm completely in agreement with what you just said about how i mean that's kind of how they lost the culture war they try to do the strong arm authoritarian tactics and no one was having it you just can't we don't live in that environment anymore you can't force your beliefs or your politics on people you have to you have to uh, make them want to join your cause. Well, exactly. And like I, like I said in the debate, I am completely fine with them doing whatever they want in church, but that's not the same as politics, and we shouldn't be equating the two. Yeah, that's their institution. That's the beautiful thing about separation of church and state. The, the state doesn't meddle in your institution where you have say, and you can do whatever you want, but you, at the same time, your institution shouldn't be meddling in, in the state. Exactly. Won my vote is because he does not care. He promotes people. He doesn't promote sexualities. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, so first of all, you're using issues again on me that you don't apply for yourself. So uh, Dr. Carl here was the first one to celebrate me being Carlin. From Twin- Carlin. Twin- banned from Twitter. Um, she was so excited to see that my voice had been silenced. So freedom of speech for thee, but not for me. Um, absolutely. So, you know, disregard that opinion. Um, well, I celebrated that you were banned on Twitter well, I, I because say, you repeatedly I, tweeted that my husband should be deported, Lauren. And he's now a legal I'm alien. Oh no, he's Your not. Husband, he has a permanent husband, green card. I am now thrilled from- that I don't have to hear you call for my husband to be deported on Twitter, yeah. who has had a permanent green card for the last six years. He came into our country illegally. He broke our laws. He did <laughs> not do it. And then married properly. an American. How lucky he is he? Go back. He has to go back. I'm sorry, no, Doctor. What, what, yeah, what is the story? What is the story here? Yeah, what is the story okay. here? No, the story is my husband came into the country legally, so mm-hmm. he had a work visa. He came. He was in a work program, and then he overstayed it by several years mm-hmm. and then he um he met you me you saw him moving and you're just like oh I, well that's that's actually literally what happened though that's a true story he was working for this moving company and he moved he moved me to the house that i current that we currently live in together mm-hmm. and it was love at first sight there you and go. um on our second date i knew i wanted to marry him and uh a couple months later he got uh he got picked up by ice and he's they started oh. going through deportation proceedings and you know we ended up getting married and um we we got married six months to the day almost after we met we spent the next two years getting his status adjusted in uh in court to get a temporary green card and then two years after that he got his permanent green card and uh 
you know, he could have divorced me six years ago if it was just for the green card. So he's stuck around. Right. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, you have been married for six years. It's not we, like, you know. Yeah, we've been married for 10 now, but like oh, he could okay, have divorced me six years ago. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, tried and true, tried and tested relationship lasted 10 years, not for the yeah. green card. Well, and also we went through two ICE interviews where they, they grilled us um, mm -hmm. to make sure it was actually a real relationship. So Lauren doesn't really? know what she's talking about. Wow. Yeah. Well, they That's ask crazy. you, like, what's his favorite food? Um, <laughs> what's the favorite you, TV show? You know, you know what the question was that, that got me, Um, and they, they were easy on us in the first interview. The second interview, they really grilled us, but they mm -hmm. asked, what is his mother's name? And that might not seem like a, a hard question, but my husband's mother left when he was a child and he never talks oh about her. Oh my God. Right. So uh, I, I legitimately, like, I think he'd only mentioned her name once. And so mm -hmm. that stumped me. But the one where they decided that we were a real marriage, it was, um, it, the, the interview had been right after the 4th of July and they were like, what did you do for the 4th of July weekend? And my husband and I gave identical answers. We both said nothing. And then we said, oh, we took the dogs to a parade, blah, blah, blah. And that was when the immigration lady was like, all right, they're real. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. They're real Americans. They didn't do shit. And then they walked exactly. to a park with their dogs. Yes, <laughs> perfect. It's That's... it's funny because you think that Lauren, who's trying to be the big advocate for traditional marriage here, and it's like, I have a traditional marriage of 10 years. You should be all in favor of this. But I was like, no. Well, yeah, exactly. And I want, I want to be clear because this is something, you know, I see people in the chat saying it, and I'm not in favor of deplatforming people. In my ideal world, no one would be deplatformed unless they broke the law. And then mm -hmm. maybe even conceivably not then. It just kind of depends. I'm still working through my thought process on that. But I don't think she should have been deplatformed. Of course not. But am I going to be sorry when she had spent the th last three days before that tweeting that my husband should be deported? No. Fuck no. Yeah, no. No. Fuck no. no. Sorry. Fuck no. no. Yeah. If, if 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 my significant other was being attacked by any by anyone for any reason, I wouldn't shed tears for them getting kicked off of social media. I'd be like, what no. fuck this person? Exactly. What, what was she to platform for, do you know? Uh, I think it was for something about um calling uh, a, a trans guy demonic oh there you or go or something okay. like that she, <laughs> she, she, yeah. i was like right. yeah. <laughs> yeah like she, she, she legitimately should not have been deplatformed for that but i'm not gonna shit it's tears. twitter it's twitter yeah. it's twitter yeah. people need give, to like give it's the reality little... <laughs> well also yeah she, like yeah that's like a death wish on twitter if you're gonna go after trans people so obviously exactly. yeah what a, what a cool story i i would imagine because I've never heard any of this stuff about, uh, you know, ICE interviewing you, make sure that you're a legitimate marriage. I think, you know, the typical conservative might think that that, that kind of thing never happens. Like they're just given, like they don't, they don't want to make sure that it's a legitimate marriage. Oh no, it was, it, it, dude, it is a long, hard, we went through a long, hard process. We spent wow. thousands and thousands of dollars. You know, what was actually one of the most expensive things was we had to spend thousands of dollars in bribes to get his documents out of Ukraine to wow. use them in the immigration process. Yeah, it wow. was, it was yeah. a long time. That makes sense. I paid, I played papers, please. I know how it works. <laughs> oh man. But it was super stressful. He couldn't work for the first two years. I was, you know, earning all the money in the family, and um, we were mm -hmm. very happy when it was all over. Yeah, it's crazy, cool, man. Fucking Ukraine. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Listen, honey, that's not work. It's not how laws work. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have a husband, and you don't, Lauren. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh <laughs> my god, rubbing it in. Oh, <laughs> <shit. laughs> oof. Oof. <laughs> You're welcome. Anyone want to respond? You guys can keep going. I'm keep going. <laughs> you know, as soon as a girl tells me, uh, you know, that she was a former drug mule, I I usually shy away from the second date. I don't know about you, Sitch. <laughs> how, how, the deal breaker. How do, how do you how do you feel about dating a former drug mule? Are you want me to keep going? Oh well, you know. I'm I'm, I'm in early recovery. So, you know, I've only been clean three years. Uh, you know, myself getting in toxic relationships is what kept, you know, me relapsing. So, you know, I'm just doing it with wisdom this time. I'm dating. I'm, but my intention is to get married and have children eventually. But I certainly will not be marrying an illegal alien, uh, <laughs> given his green card. So, you know, uh, I hopefully will, so find, an I will, I, I will find an American man. I will, I will find an American man. You'll be pleased to know we had several interviews with ICE and they 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 blessed our marriage. Really? Even though he was an illegal and didn't yeah. come the right way? 
has a permanent green card, honey. Permanent green yeah, card. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to reinvestigate. Let's go, let's go to Blair. But you know what? Here's the here's the thing though. Like we can keep talking about my husband, all she wants to talk about him, but the fact of the matter is, my husband ain't gonna win us an election. Votes are going to win us elections. I don't know why we're so focused on these issues that are driving people away from voting for things like conserving the First Amendment, conserving the Second Amendment. That's really what I would like to have the conversation. You don't even like the First Amendment. You don't even like it. So why are you? Why are you? uh, Blair wanted to chime in. Let's let's cut. I'm I'm going to cut you guys off. I'm cutting off Blair. I I, want to. Blair, let me hear you. you (laughs) Blair's expression (laughs) says it all. Oh, I was just going to say. I think that there's a little bit of a tit for tat here, but I will say, Lauren. you said that Carlin was celebrating you being deplatformed. I did see that, and I personally disagree with Carlin for doing that. I didn't. I don't like people being banned off Twitter or deplatforms. Um, but I will say, you opened this up with saying that I shouldn't be given a platform and that I shouldn't have a say oh, in the party. Or, you know. Holy so shit. I think there's a little bit of it to go around. I think everyone should probably just respect each other a little more. 